So the number one mistake that most homeowners make when they're painting their house is that they forget the cardinal rule. And that is if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Because everything else down the line of the project happens because you planned right. So in my experience, in my 18 years of painting uh, residential homes with homeowners, property managers, real estate agents, I've seen some really bad planned projects and I've heard a lot of horror stories from homeowners. And I would say that the number one reason is because they failed to plan. They simply didn't write down some notes, some basic simple notes on a piece of paper of what they wanted to paint the colors they wanted, the timing they wanted, even the price point that they had or the budget that they had. And when they, when homeowners fail to address these uh, key critical areas in the planning process, uh, you can almost guarantee that somewhere down the line, and it usually happens near the end of the project, that things start to break down and it's based on communication. So my advice to you is do a little bit of planning. If you're painting your house, this is an interior. An exterior can cost anywhere from $5,000 to $10,000 to $50,000, depending on the size of your house. So it's really important for you as a homeowner to do your due diligence and take some planning, write down some notes. But if you don't know where to start, that's where I can help. If you go to trustedhousepainter.com and you join, you join as a homeowner, you have access to a lot of tools, PDF downloads that help you plan, prepare, and execute a perfect painting project. And the first document you can download is the House Painting Planner. Let me show you exactly what that's all about. So this is chapter one, or the first PDF that you can download from the Homeowner Toolkit, and it's the House Painting Planner. Seven practical tips to help home and property owners plan for a successful painting project. This document will really help you identify what you need to do in order to get started. So the seven practical tips that I identify in this book is determine your budget, define the scope of work, you get quotes, you hire the right painter, you make the agreement, then there's the production time where the painters get on and start painting, and then there's the project completion. So the big mistake that a lot of homeowners make is that they think that just because you're hiring a painting contractor, he should know exactly what you want. Well, that's false. That's not true. So overcoming that misconception is the first part of having a successful painting project. The first part is determining your budget. So identify the maximum amount of money you want to plan on spending on your painting project and then add 10 to 15% on top of that expected budget because things do go wrong. The next point is define your scope of work. Creating a work folder envelope to collect all your quotes, colors, and documents. It's really helpful to have a folder or some kind of document that helps uh, control all of your thoughts and all of your communications with the painters and everybody else you're dealing with. So you identify the scope of work, you choose your colors, you determine the, determine the dates and timelines. This is a really practical guide that helps you get organized. Step three is you get quotes. Now, the number one way you can get quotes is word of mouth. That will always be the most powerful form. But if you want three quotes and you don't know where to go or you ran out of word of mouth, go to trustedhousepainter.com. You can post your project. It organizes your project quickly and then you can get quotes. It's a beautiful app that works really quickly. Then you meet and interview the painting contractors. Uh, the Homeowner Toolkit also has a painting contractor questionnaire that helps you ask the right questions, which you can download once you sign up as a homeowner on trustedhousepainter.com. And then you ask the questions and you stay informed. Step four is hiring the painting company. Main thing you want to do is you want to confirm the liability insurance and licensing. You want to confirm that they've got workers insurance coverage. You want to go to their website, reviews, community, social proof. You want to make sure that they're real, that they know what they're doing. You can see videos like this of their company. Step five is signing the agreement or contract. You can download a free painting agreement at trustedhousepainter.com, which is one of the homeowner toolkits that gives you the recipe for a perfect painting project. Uh, you want to add all the contract details. That's basically the meeting of the minds, the terms, the conditions, the colors, the dates, the warranty, everything. It's really important that you have that contract. Because as I said, things break down nearly at the end of it. And it usually has something to do with money or warranty. So you make the agreement and you sign the signatures. You sign it and you date it. The last thing, or the second to last thing, is the production time. So you want to build rapport with the painting team. So you want to introduce yourself, meet the painters, 
so that they know that you care about your property. You do want to have daily updates and communication with them, either that be text or email or FaceTime or whatever works best. It is best to stay up to date on a daily basis with your painters so that they know that you're on it as well. And I'm not saying micromanaging them. I'm just saying get daily updates because things do arise that you didn't think happen. And without that communication, it could break down. Um, the last thing that you have is a deficiency list. A deficiency list is essentially just a piece of paper where you write down all your concerns, all the touch-ups and, and errors that you want to fix. In this document here, we give you a deficiency list that you can use. You can print it off and you can use it. The last part is the project completion. This is when you do your final walkthrough with the, with the, home, with the painter. And you identify all the deficiencies. They still usually have their brushes out so they can uh, do the touch-ups as they need. This is usually done a day or two before they finish because uh, you don't want to do it once they've all wrapped up and cleaned up because then they've got to get all the paint gear and the brushes out. So it's important that you do it a day or two before depending on the size of the project. And then you usually release your payment, which is part of your contract and your terms of cert, terms and agreement. And then uh, it's a good idea to record your colors that you had. And you can go to trustedhousepainter.com and you can download your free interior or exterior color palette record sheet. So basically that is the house painting planner in a nutshell. You can download this document at trustedhousepainter.com. So another aspect about this house painting planner is that it gives you worksheets that you can use, templates. So it's very basic, but it gives you an exterior scope of work where you write down the number, the surface, and the location. And you can just make a list. It's very simple. And this helps the painters see exactly what you want. This one here is the interior scope of room. So you can list room number one, the bathroom, surface, walls. Number two, bedroom, walls, ceiling, and trim. Number three, hallway, ceiling, and doors and so forth. And so that's basically how simple it is for you to plan and prepare for your painting project. And then finally, we have a deficiency list. This deficiency list basically just is a piece of paper with lines so that you can identify on, on paper, in writing, what exactly it is. They can scratch it off when they're done so that you know the deficiency list is done. This is just one of the many documents in the homeowner toolkit. This is called the house painting planner. You can find it at trustedhousepainter.com. It's a free download. What I recommend you do is sign up as a homeowner and then you have access to all these documents. I'll give you a sneak peek right away. Another one is the painting contractor questionnaire. This gives you over 40 questions that helps you understand what um, what your painting company brings in form of value. It also protects you from painters that don't have their stuff together, in, in other words. Uh, another cool document here is the painting service agreement. So this is another one that you can download. All right, so there you have it. If you're a homeowner and you're painting your interior or exterior of your home, go to trustedhousepainter.com, download your free homeowner toolkit, and it will prepare you properly so that you're in control of your project and you control it and you'll execute a beautiful paint job on your house. Go to trustedhousepainter.com, join as a homeowner, and you'll get access to all of these documents.